So last night I posted my AC300 video and Tom from Hobotech said that he only pulled 72% of these batteries rated capacity. So right now I'm discharging this thing down to zero and I disconnected the solar. And once it's at zero, we're gonna see how much power it takes to charge up and then we're gonna do a capacity test. So hopefully I get good results, but I'm pretty sure that I'm probably gonna get the same results as everybody else. So we're running a battery charger and a heat gun we're pulling 2,700 watts all the way until it's at zero. I'm a little salty that this thing is not working well for other YouTubers because I actually really like this unit. So we just got low voltage disconnect and we are at 0% state of charge. Now we're gonna charge it with the AC charger and a watt meter. We're gonna measure how many kilowatt hours it takes to recharge both batteries. We're charging with 12 amps, which is like 0.4 or 0.5 C. So we'll come back in about five hours when this thing is done charging and see what our results are. And just to show you, the meter is zeroed out, so we'll come back soon. Now both batteries are fully charged. And it took 7.08 kilowatt hours to charge these two batteries. Dividing this number by the total capacity, we get an efficiency of 86%, which is not that great. I actually have a battery charger next to me right now that pulls 95 to 98% efficiency, which is this one right here. Uh, yeah, 95% and sometimes you can get even higher when you test it. So yeah, let's do a capacity test now. Now we're pulling 1200 watts out. So this is pretty much a 0.5C test perfectly. So we'll come back in five hours and see what our results are. So this ran all day and the test is finally done. This model has a memory, so it actually stored it. Right there, 5.37. That's actually, wait, I need to get my calculator. Seven zero. It pulled 87% of its rated capacity for this capacity test. Maybe the other YouTubers were talking about round trip efficiency because this is a very typical figure. The charge efficiency was 86% and the discharge efficiency was 87%. Oh, here we go. Now I got the same figure that they got. So they did a round trip efficiency test because 87% efficient for a discharge test is actually really good. A lot of other solar generators do much worse than this. So I don't see the cause for concern here. Uh, th these are very typical results. Test. This basically tests to see how good is the cooling inside. Electric heater, 2,220. What? He pulled it with a discharge test. This was not a round trip efficiency test. That's I mean, awful. That's a horrible figure. God, that sucks. Why did I get such good results? Why? That's crazy. That doesn't even make any sense. He used one battery. I used two. And we were discharging at practically the same C rate. And he said that he updated the firmware. And I never updated the firmware. This is just how I got it. Well, I pulled 87% for mine and I practically pulled almost the same as my full size system. So I don't know guys, that's weird. Some people will try to criticize these power meters. These, my shunts over there are practically the same accuracy as my CBA4 system with amplifier. People try to critique these, but these are down to like 0.1 watt or something of accuracy. So yeah, when you're testing large batteries with something as accurate as this, you, you don't really have to get mad at this. And the figures I got are exactly what I would expect for this unit. Anyways, I guess I got lucky with this unit because I haven't had any issues. I pulled nearly full capacity and I would expect those efficiency results for this type of unit. 87% um, is fine for an inverter. If it was 80% then I would comment on it but I don't know why he got such bad results. Um, maybe there was something wrong with it. I, I have no idea because you can check the cell voltages um, and I haven't heard of anybody not pulling full capacity with a Blue Eddy unit. So uh, I know he probably tried different meters though. He's super smart. So I, I don't know what happened there. I don't understand. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm missing something? Um, I've used these meters in the past on quite a few. I have like five of these because I love them so much. But um, yeah, if you can think of something else that was going on that caused Hobotech to get those bad results, please let me know. Um, that's really unfortunate actually. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching and bye.